So mash the like button, subscribe and lick off the bell. So we just saw there your man's Floyd going through it, Mayweather. But listen, this video ain't gonna be a long one. I thought I'd make it though, cause you man know I like to stay on Floyd's neck. Floyd he, he a bit zesty, he a bit funny style, but listen, this video is very humanizing of Floyd. And yeah, Floyd's not perfect, as we all aren't. Yeah, Floyd does need to pay his bills, needs to pay Logan, choke and pull back for the money he owes. But outside of that, this video was extremely humanising of Floyd. I was shocked, you know, I just, I've never really seen Floyd cry like that. He was literally tearing up. Yeah, was it because of all the people he's sacrificed to get to where he's got to get, had to get to? We don't know. All we do know is, all the people around Floyd, they end up, yeah, they end up rolling over, don't they? Floyd's babe mum rolled over some in mysterious circumstances. Roger, yeah, the whole bunch of dons, you know, on that cabal thing. But listen, Floyd, on his acceptance to the Hall of Fame, yeah, he was going through it, man. And it was on a human level, assuming it's not because he's thinking of all the lost souls he's cashed in to the cabal. If it's, as long as it's not that, if he's genuinely just appreciative and absorbing the moment, then yeah, it was it was great to see Floyd, the human version of Floyd, which really, I can't think, when have we, I've never seen Floyd, he's always coming, and he even said, it's not about the money, I mean, he cap it, it's about the money, but it was, again, it was nice to see Floyd, really, it's the first time, I mean, even I started feeling somewhat emotional, it's for me, it's the first time I've ever looked at Floyd and thought, Felt sorry for the guy. Not sorry, but it was it was nice. Yeah, it was nice to see. I can't lie to you. Um, maybe Floyd needs to. I mean, people are going to do what they're going to do, but maybe Floyd needs to adopt more more of that real side to him. Because I mean, he he don't pull off the other side of things very well, in my opinion. He everyone can tell he's fronting. Yeah. Oh, I'm the main. My name Floyd, and 
I got a Bentley and my watch is my watch has twenty million dollar bezel on it and all that stuff's weird. Don't you, it, it don't suit him. <laughs> it don't. Yeah. Any dude who's four foot five tall, you can't be stunt. You can't be trying to stunt like that because everyone knows you're suffering from Napoleon complex. So sit your Napoleon complex have an ass down somewhere. Yeah. And and like I said, put that game somewhere else. This is much better. Much better to see the human side, the true side. Because we all knew Floyd was soft on the inside anyway. Yeah. We all knew that ever since Miss Jackson deaded him off ever since listen ever, and that's the thing nelly nelly is who floyd wants to be yeah nelly's broke irrelevant and still he took floyd's girl do you understand that's the kind of guy floyd wants to be floyd wants to be the guy who has nothing and the girls still want him he, he ain't that guy and that's why he tried to put the front on oh man you know i got my watch and i got 50 million cars and, and that ain't you because if it was you like I said, Miss Jackson, Nelly wouldn't listen. No other a lie. There's stories going around now that Miss Jackson was with Nelly before she got with Floyd. Apparently, Nelly put her to work and said, "Listen, Floyd's a big square or a little square, and a Napoleon complex have an R square." So apparently, from what I've heard from people close to the situation, Nelly told Miss Jackson, "Listen, I haven't got no. We're broke. I'm broke." So you need to go, you need to hit the street, you need to hit Las Vegas streets and go and hustle. And Nelly dropped her off outside the Mayweather gym and that was it. Put her straight to work. She was working at Mayweather gym and Floyd came in and boom. Yeah, she knew you, she best bring some, she best bring that coin back. And she, she listen, she was deep cover. She was there for a minute. But guess what? After a few years, you best believe after a few years, she ran that game hard. And she brought all the bread back. And to be honest, it's actually kind of crazy. Because Floyd wanted to marry her. Floyd wanted to give her a baby and to marry her. And if Nelly was smart, he should have really... And that's the thing, Nelly ain't too smart either. Nelly's, that, Nelly, Nelly's like one of them dumb pimps. Yeah? One of them gangster pimp dudes who, who ain't got no IQ. Because if Nelly had IQ, he'd let her get married. And then he'd take half. Oops, but he weren't too smart. All he saw was Floyd looking to get married, and he got nervous, and then obviously recalled her, and that's when she left and got back with Nelly. All that interim period. Anyway, man, I give you, I'll just give you, wait, man, way too much game there. But anyway, you get the point. The point is, Floyd, this is your true self. Yeah, you ain't no gangster. You ain't no big boss. You're the guy who people like Nelly, people like the YB. Yeah. We run game on you kind of cats. That's what just, I'm just telling you what happens. People like Nelly, people like the YB, we see squares like you and we think, yeah, I'm going to run some game on him. Yeah, that's my meal dick out of it, 100%. And we drop some trick off in your vicinity and the game gets run. And she come back. That's what happened, 100%. No doubt. But yeah, on, <laughs> on a serious note, I mean, obviously, obviously Floyd deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. But yeah, man, fair play to Floyd. This is the first time I've ever felt any sort of connection with Floyd. All we've seen for the last 10 years is just pure fake bravado. And like I said, it wasn't even the good bravado, it was dead bravado. Yeah. And it actually got a bit, it got a bit, not cringy, but he literally cries for about two and a half minutes. Initially, I thought it was some sort of stunt. You know the ones there? I thought it was some sort of Hollywood trick where they were going to go... Oh, look, he's so emotional. But he actually had tears coming out. I thought he was trying to make a scene. You know, some people say that Floyd Mayweather is always trying to make everything about him. So I wasn't sure whether, because it took so long. He was up there for the three minutes just crying before he said anything. Now, often people think the best way to get attention is to shout and make noises. But really, when you're in a public setting like that, the best way to get attention is when you're on front stage and you don't say anything. Because people are like, what's going on? So I wasn't sure for a little while, is Floyd trying to run some sort of, you know what I mean? Is he trying to beg attention? Oh, you know what I mean? You just don't know about it. You, you can never be too sure with Floyd, can you? I thought for a while, is Floyd doing this to try and, you know what I mean? Is Floyd appearing to be emotional so pe he gets attention and people think, oh, I'm so sorry, Floyd. I mean, listen to the people in the crowd. The people in the crowd are saying, oh, we love you, Floyd. You're the best, Floyd. So I wasn't sure if he was big friend in it that way. But anyway, man, I'm going to give him the benefit of doubt on this one. 
yeah? Because Floyd had a lot to go through. Like I said, he had his wife taken by Nelly, yeah? The YB about to take his next one, and all that kind of... He had a lot, he had a lot of stress he going through right now, 100%, yeah? NBA young boy took his, you know what I mean, NBA young boy took his daughter and his peak for that. So listen, Floyd got Floyd going through it right now, hundred percent. Yeah, because as an old saying, money don't buy game. That's what it don't buy. You can have all the Floyd. Listen, Floyd is the proof that you can have all the money in the world and still have no game. Yeah, you can have all the money in the world, but at the end of the day, a nick like the YB sees your girl. She get took. That's just what's gonna happen. That's a Floyd. Listen, Floyd knows that. Floyd's a good guy. He knows. He knows his place. He knows the YB and Nelly. We can take his girl. That's just what it is. Hundred <laughs> percent. But now, on a serious note, salute to Floyd. Yeah, he need to. He getting older now. He need to wind wind down all that weird behavior now. In my opinion, wind it all down, and enjoy. Start enjoying life. Not trying to be a. Sh a showman as such, because only the fanboys like that, I did a video the other month, there was some weird zesty cat on his knees, some next sandy dusty on, from the UAE on his knees, kissing, sucking Floyd's finger, proper super duper weird zesty cat, yeah, doing way too much, but yeah, salute to Floyd.